Hello. Hi, everybody. <laughs> I'll go around. I know. <laughs> He's hiding our view. Yeah. So, blocking our view. <laughs> welcome, everybody, to our Monday Night Live. <laughs> My name is Melanie Newman, and this I'm is. I'm Janelle Austin. And this is the amazing yeah. Bentley who keeps trying to flash his. <laughs> flash he his loves behind. to turn the other way. So. He's just staring at me. Yeah. Like, wondering what's going on. He's like, what are we doing? So tonight we are going to go through blend um, using blenders on legs mm-hmm. and chunkers. Yes. So last week we learned um, about the using the scissors on the head. Yep, and using the blenders and the chunkers on heads and thinners and things like that on a curly coat. But tonight we are going to do that on legs. So. Trying just to achieve a nice straight leg. So I've done one of his legs. Which is looking lovely. There we go. And I've done his, I've groomed his head as well. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to keep going like this. (laughs) In the tail. But it's all about him. It is all about him. Um, So I'm going to be working on this front leg and one of his back legs. And I'll try and get through the other one. He's a young dog, so mm. he's a bit um he's a bit wriggly, but he's, he's we'll, a, he'll he's, be all right. He really likes him. Yeah, <laughs> we'll be able to do. It. I'm on my TV days. I, I just realised I look even taller. <laughs> hey, um, but he's a lovely dog. So he's a brown miniature poodle. Um, I've groomed him from a baby, so he's he thinks it's all fun and games yeah. and everything's amazing. So. So last week we learned how to, what blenders to use, um, why you use different Mm -hmm. blenders. Yep. So um, we'll probably just jump straight into it and then. I think so. That might be good. Maybe talk about what we're going to, yeah, how we trim this nice lovely leg that we've got on the other side. So I bathed him in the Purify. So he was quite dirty. So it's been really wet in Melbourne. Mm -hmm. Not as wet as Sydney, but wet. Yeah. Um, And muddy. The ground hasn't. Dry. Dry at all, so, is it? Yeah. yeah, and Sherelle, his mum was telling me that he has been just in the mud has he? <laughs> all week. So I had to wash him three times. Oh, God. <laughs> um, and he did have a lot of knots as well because he'd been in the water and mud and things like that. So it did take me quite a while to mm-hmm. groom him out. Yeah. Um, but I... So after do... we bathed him in the shampoo, what did so we do? So I shampooed him three times. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, actually, before the bath, I just quickly separated the coat, yep. so the matted bits on his legs, just with um, with the slicker, with our our long pin slicker. So because he does have long hair, so mm-hmm. long pins suited to his yeah, coat. Yeah, it's going to get down yep. deeper. And then I've shampooed him three times, <laughs> and then I've given him a really good condition. Yes, and that was with the Purify as well. And when yeah. I've got him out of the bath, I've actually sprayed his coat with the Relax Coat Conditioning Spray. Before drying. Before drying. Yeah. But I actually then went back through with the slicker and brushed all these knots out. Okay, yeah. So um, I just felt like it was easier. He had a lot of dead coat in there. Yeah, right. So um, it was a lot easier with his coat to do it with a wet coat. Yeah. And then I dried him dried with a him. high velocity dryer. And then went back through with the stand dryer and, and got it really, really, really straight. Straight. Because we so, need that straight coat yeah, to so ach- that, get the right Yeah, look. that Good leads boy. me to um, our prep work and his legs being really, really super, super straight. He's trying to show yeah. you. He's like, <laughs> he's a his, beautiful face. His jaws, yeah. his crown jaws. <laughs> uh, so, <laughs> yeah, so it's really, really super important that when we are – scissoring any part of the body especially the legs that when we are drying those legs that they are super super straight so minimal curl in that coat and Janelle might be able to show you because she's on that side if we just lift that coat you can see see. how straight how straight the coat is hi Karen hi Karen (laughs) yeah so I've used first I went through his coat with uh wide pin comb and then once all the knots are out come on he's still gonna post this i will come back over that side this way this good way. boy good then i've gone back through with the fine tooth comb so before the fine tooth comb just making sure i've got out all that dead coat mm-hmm. all the knots mm-hmm. then i've gone back through with our the finished fine, fine tooth comb yeah 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 
And this really pulls out the coat so you can see there's still a little bit. I haven't done a good job. <laughs> I, I think it does. I good. have. It, you have. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know I have. <laughs> you definitely have. I think it just flows in there, doesn't it? Like you would have been scissoring the other leg and hair just he gets stuck. He just had, like he was like so a, much. He was a bear. <laughs> like, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Good you boy, cute, don't you? Uh, so I've clipped his body on mm -hmm. a four blade as well. Yeah, it's quite a popular blade, isn't it, the four? I find I it's, like not, it. it's a nice length. It's not super short. High yeah. end. It's not super and short and it's not, it leaves a little bit of coverage over the dog's body. So, yeah. And I mean, because he is a brown, like mm -hmm. I feel like when you clip him and scissor him, all of a sudden their coat comes back to yeah. life. Yeah. Brown, blues, silvers. So um, true. All of a sudden their coat <laughs> is face the other way. nice and shiny. So, what I'm going to do is show you guys how I blend. Hey, Donna. <laughs> <laughs> um, blend his shoulder into, into his, his leg yep uh because that's what i did on this side so it's a bit of a shortcut so we're not scissoring this shoulder area we are going to use the clippers and blend it straight in so i'm using a four blade so the same length that you do on the dog's body, body? Generally. Yep. yep 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 um and i'm using the anders clippers yeah the pulse they're the called pulse. You yeah we worked that out last Oh, uh, yeah, because I probably didn't tell yeah. you. Sorry. <laughs> That's all right. So these clippers are super, super um, quiet. quiet. Mm -hmm. like, they were so good. I really like them. Yeah. I was, um, when I clipped Impressed these. Yeah. Them? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love them too. Um, okay, so we will get started if everybody's ready. Cool. Beautiful. Okay, so we're going to try and um, face his leg. So right. it's straight onto the camera yeah. because we need to actually see how much hair is on that shoulder. So there we go. Good boy. So what we need to do is, is clip off all this so we get that nice straight line coming off that shoulder. So again with the four blade. Good boy. And then I always start uh, a bit above where we've clipped already. So following that line, and then I kind of come straight off. I hit the pointer shoulder here, and then coming straight down. So I'm not going into the elbow. Mm. So, so if you follow that dog's body around, you'll. Yeah, so I'm just skimming, and he's not straight, so <laughs> it's making it really hard. <laughs> he's like, what are you doing? Good boy. So just comb it back up. Good boy, good boy. Okay. He's very, like, he's a clever dog, so he likes to know what's happening at every moment so of the groom. <laughs> so see how it's just coming straight off? So this will help uh, minimise the amount of scissoring. Scissoring that you're doing, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, is this what you do? Yeah, definitely. Like I find that wider point of the shoulder muscle, which is generally where the point of shoulder is, yeah. and then um, skim it off from there. So I don't want to follow that elbow around just in case. No, and because his mum does like more of a teddy trim, but still that flared leg. But um, I'll just point it up so we can see. Good boy. And you just kind of um, shape it in. Oh, sorry, buddy. <laughs> just shape it in and sculpt with the clippers. Yeah, well, the more you're doing with the clippers, the less you're going to be doing standing <coughs> there scissoring it. Yeah. Good boy. You want to watch, don't you? Face this way. Good man. And then Janelle can do the back leg. I'm going to flip that around. <laughs> <Sure>. <coughs> so with the back leg, I use the same technique as what you do on the front. Um, and with the, so you'd find where the thigh, they got two thighs, so you'd find where the thicker part of the thigh is. So you can see where Mel's already clipped the body off to. And we're just going to follow that. Oh, it's on the side, that's right. We're just going to follow that down also. I'll just come around this one maybe. All right, so we're going to skim down the leg right where that, Muscle is, and I do the same. I come right up to where the clipping was on the body. 
I actually okay. like to groom the from the rear. Do you? Yeah. Like especially this part because then I can see. see. The same as the front. Yeah. Then I can see what's going on on, on both sides. So we can flip it around. Yeah. And then show what you mean as yeah. well. So. Good boy. Oh, there's his mum there. Oh, hey. Hi, Sherelle. <laughs> He's been good. He's been really good. So you can see here, I'll just turn these off for a second. You can see here how we've followed the body down into the leg. And then on this side, we'll do it from this way. So I'd start at where the clipping is and we want to come down. And as soon as we get to that widest part, He's been really good. I would skim off. And then you can see as well in the, this is our rear view. Yeah. Rear view. Yeah. It's quite weird. I don't know, I'm not used to doing it from the, from yeah, the no, side. But, like I always look, but it's better for you guys to see. Do you see. agree in a mirror? Yeah. Yeah, so I normally sometimes just watch the mirror and not the dog. And not the actual dog. Yeah, yeah true. it's weird. Sorry, we're right saying down. that because we're watching a screen as yeah, well. Yeah, I know. That's what yeah. people like, but yeah. what do you mean? Yeah. So, yeah, I would do it like so. So then we get a nice um, parallel line from the rear as well. So it kind of makes our dog not look like they're wearing... The, the chat chats yeah big the cowboy big cowboy chats <laughs> good boy oh. do you want to go up to the front now you want to take over sure <laughs> I'll do this front now so we normally do all the clipper work first so um it kind of gets it out of the way and it teaches a dog um good healthy habits mm. yeah so, and if you stick with the routine, they tend to start to know what's happening. So once the clippers go off, then the scissoring starts. And... Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're pretty good. Good boy. So what I like to do is... We'll just go out a little bit, Jack. So we can see his, his foot. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. So do you do the foot first, Mel, or what, how do you usually... Um, with this much coat, if yeah. I didn't have this much coat, I wouldn't do the foot first. Yeah, yeah. But with this much, I like to just... Um, know what you're going to... to how short I'm yeah. going to do the foot. Because if I do the foot now, sometimes I feel like I take too much off and I can pinch the pinch foot. Pinch in the feet, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so and what you I... lose that round foot that you want to get. Yeah, so what I do is fine tooth comb and you'll notice that throughout this grooming session that we just use our comb flat out. Like mm -hmm. uh, I just keep picking it up. Yeah, I know. I'm going to grab this one too. <laughs> so what we're going to do first is comb everything up and because it is a curly coat, so we're going to comb it up and pull it out. And I always say this to people, be really super honest when you're combing everything yeah. out. Pull it all out so then you can scissor it down. Good man. Good boy, buddy. Get back. There we go. Good boy. Get back more. There we go. Oh, you've been good. You've been good. Okay, so what I'm going to do is the same as the clippers, but I'm going to take my scissors uh, straight down that leg. And it will kind of make the leg look a little bit square, mm -hmm. but that's okay because I'm going to go around, around it off, off afterwards. Yeah. Yep. So oh I'm going to come straight down. And I would normally stand in front, in the front yeah. profile and come straight down, but you won't be able to see. Mm -hmm. So when I teach, I normally hand. Yeah. You have to stand out the way so they can see. <laughs> Good boy. Yeah, so straight down. So I'm just bulking off coat and just taking coat off. And I'm using our the PW yeah. Spartan. Um, these are the 16 two. Mm -hmm. So these are the chunkers where the spaces are a little bit further apart. So that actually means it's going to take out, take more, out coat. more coat. Yep. So they're perfect for this, um, this groom and this coat type. And when you want to take out quite a bit at, at 
Yeah. Once, because he's got so much there to yeah, ready yeah. to come. And we did go through all more last week, so if mm-hmm. you missed it, go back and watch last week's, and we take you through the like the different the difference between the chunkers, the blenders, blenders and, and the thinners. thinners. So, and a little bit on the straights. Good mm-hmm. boy, Bentley. Good Hang boy. On. I know it's been a big day. <laughs> Well, as he was that dirty, he was, he's had a big bath and <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> been dried. Exactly. And do you always work on, I do, I always work on the outside of the leg first. Always yeah. on the outside mm-hmm. because good boy, good if, boy. We, um, if we take too much off on the inside mm-hmm. to start with, all of a sudden, our dog can look like it's elbowing yeah, out and looks wider. Yeah, like a bulldog, you know. Yeah, <laughs> it's wider, wider, wider in bulldog. front. Good boy. So we just want to um, work always into the middle of the mm-hmm. dog, no matter what part of the dog it is, yeah. always working into the middle. But as we do more grooming tutorials, they are a bit more complex. And, uh-huh. Um, yeah. Yeah, like I, I find I, – I ask you that because when I when, – when I was told that, I think you probably told me that, when I was doing some training, I found that really helped. That tip really helped because I used to always just pick up the foot, do the foot, do the inside of the leg. Yeah. But now I always work on the outside of the leg yeah. first. Yeah, to... especially when you're scissoring a leg because it's you're scissoring the leg because you want a different shape and you want a mm. bit of style. Yeah. Bentley, Bentley. Good boy. Calm down, buddy. Calm down. I know. It's all exciting. It's very exciting, isn't it, bud? So once I'm happy with sort of what I've taken off on the side of Good the boy. outside of the front leg, let me just fix that groom uh-huh. again. I'm then going to turn him. Hi on... Vanessa. <laughs> hey Ness. There we go. On um, for his side profile, and then I'm going to take some off the front, and I would normally scissor this. From the from side, the side. yeah, because yeah. Yeah. you want to see where you want to bring the leg. How much do I need yeah. to take off? That's why I say it may look a little bit square. Good boy, good boy. I'm being a bit of a punk at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> good boy, good boy buddy. Maybe less and small. Good boy, do you want a bit of... A bit Sometimes of I just want to see what's going on. Mm. So when you're doing that part, it's kind of like how much you want to leave, like your return. On the front leg. Yeah. And I always do the back of the front leg almost last. Last, yep. So just coming straight down towards our toe. And you'll see how it sort of comes together and why I didn't do the foot first. Mm Mm-hmm. Plus, once you see his feet, like they're massive. They're like little bear feet. They're so beautiful. Yeah. His pads. Yeah, yeah. they're cute. Yeah, they're really cute. Lisa Martin, she said, um, would you trim a show dog's leg differently? Probably not. No. No, I'd no. Do, trim the Bichons the same. Yeah, just a different sort of yeah. leg, but the same process. Yeah, the same routine. And what we want is the same width throughout the leg so with him trying not to make it too <laughs> pinched boy. in at the top of the elbow Good. yeah so the same thing and so what you're saying there so you want the same thickness all the way through so from the yeah. elbow to the foot and then um the foot up into the return yeah. in yeah. the front there good boy just needs to sort himself out. He does. He just needs a minute. Good boy. And when you and I'm looking at the side profile when I'm trying to work out the thickness of all the way around. Yeah. And then the front. That's when I work out how much yeah. you want to leave in between the legs. Yeah. So this is a classic salon dog that just yeah. moves around. Yeah. He's just too busy, clearly to get his hair done. Yeah. So this is when I would do the inside yep. of the front leg. Can I please ask what other name of the clippers are you? Um, yeah, so the clippers are the Anders Pulse. So I think they're Anders Pulse 2. Yeah. Um, and those ones come from DGS. We got those ones from DGS. Oh, I was grooming, sorry. I was grooming. 
So then I do the same thing with the inside of the leg and I just come straight down. Hang on, doll. Hang on. Good boy, good boy. And mm. the reason um, I thought of this the other day, I thought it might help people. This is what, like, a lot of people say, how do we get the straight leg? Mm. But it doesn't matter how, what shape the actual dog's leg is, you're actually tr sculpting the hair yeah. Yeah. to give not, you that shape, if not your dog's the leg. feet might turn out, out. Mm -hmm. I don't know, like yeah, that way, no. <laughs> we would still scissor him that way. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're sculpting, you're sculpting the hair, not clipping, not trimming the leg as such, like following the dog's body. Yeah. I thought Good that might boy. help people understand a bit more. If you have any questions, just feel free. And I feel like on our channel, like people are like, oh, that dog's so well behaved. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, well, sometimes they're not. And yeah. He's just, he's, he's <laughs> exactly. Like, he's like, oh. as soon as the camera's on, he's like, oh. I know. <laughs> <laughs> the lights and the camera is just like I think he's starting to you know, sort himself out. Yeah, he's no. tired. This is the thing. You're like, are oh, you? They're tired. No, they're not. They're actually not. They're not tired. Um, would we do this on the same as it, on a Shih Tzu cross last? Wow. Up? So next week. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that takes us into next week. So next week we're actually working on a Maltese, Maltese that has a drop coat. So yeah. name um, Bella. Bella. That's right. Yeah. And we'll be able to show you what technique we use to. Yeah. And it is very similar, but using different scissors, I would say. Different. Um, because we're using yeah. these chunkers um, because it's a curly coat and we're whacking off coat. We're yeah. really. Um, Taking off bulk. Yeah. Like it. And the. And they're great for the curly coats, but maybe not as forgiving for your drop coats. No, because they do leave a little bit of a scissor mark mm, mm -hmm. or a blender mark yeah scissor mark yeah yeah so um yeah we definitely use a different a different scissor for the yeah. drop coat so yeah. we'll be able to show you that next week you went to tune in sorry guys i'm gonna just maybe i just need to sort out this front leg yeah so mel's like in she would have a vision of how she wants that leg to look and then just trimming off the excess and today we have the grooming arm. Oh, yeah. So we don't normally. We don't normally. Sometimes. If they're my dogs, like, they're pretty good. Mm -hmm. Um, But Bentley needs a little bit more support. <laughs> good boy, buddy. Which is fine as and, you know, they're safe and as long as it's not too tight, you don't want to. No, like, he's just pretty loose. It just yeah. sort of. Just holds them there, doesn't it? Just There's gives them a bit of a check. A bit of, of attention. Bit, yeah. bit of tension around their neck, but no, no, not tight. So once I've sort of got my, like, how I sort of want it, the the length, this is when I would go taking coat off the back. So I'm just going to flip him around mm -hmm. to, yeah, like that. to there. Yeah. Oh boy, he'll be happy because he's facing this way. <laughs> and then I just come straight down. I can't really see. So... I would normally scissor from the side yeah. profile. Yeah. And is this where you would leave, like you're kind of looking at the same, like you're, you're going the whole thickness, the same thickness all the way around? Yeah. And you'll notice when I scissor legs, good boy, I kind of, every, like this is what I say about grooming, like everybody does things differently, but mm -hmm. sometimes the outcome is exactly the same. Exactly. So when I scissor my legs mm -hmm. um, and scissor the shape in, I will always scissor a cross. Mm -hmm. um, but like some people. Up. Some people only scissor up, up or, or down. down, but mm -hmm. I'll scissor across because I just want to get in that shape. Because once that shape's in, then I can work. What are you <laughs> no, doing, Bentley? Then I can work on the finishing. <laughs> I'm just standing there. Good boy. Good boy. Thank you for doing these, Rebecca. Thank you for doing these lives. They are awesome from New Zealand. Oh. I'll be later then now as well. You're welcome, Rebecca. Oh, I know Rebecca. <laughs> 
And when you're doing them, do you finish them off going up and down, Mel? Up or? and down. Yeah. 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 So this is just to get our mm -hmm. shake in. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. because you're being a little bit of a punk on the table, <laughs> it wouldn't normally take me this long. It not, once you're whacking the shake, like it's pretty fast. Yeah. But again, he's a young dog, so um, his patience is. Yeah, he's like, okay, I've got time. i got dinner to eat and yeah, friends to play friends with. Because yeah. he was playing with um, Trey, my miniature poodle. Yeah. I'm like, that's it. It's over. <laughs> <laughs> we got work to do. Okay, so once I've got that shape in of the length that I want left on the coat, on the leg, sorry, then I'll use my um, curves. Mm -hmm. And these are a PNW blacksmith and they're a... 7.5 so these are the curves I normally use so they're not a really they're not a strong curve aren't they yeah they're not curve. a fierce curve or no they're just going they're hey, just a, a slight curve yeah I don't like a really gnarly curve <laughs> yeah the only time I used the gnarly curves was um for the bevels on the, the American cockers yeah. Yeah, yeah yeah so because he's being a little bit naughty I'm going to try and hold up that leg Good boy. and then I'm going to come around on a 45 degree angle and just scissor around the base of his we'll just put foot. him back a little bit we've got a question up on the thing there <laughs> what no no we spoke about this earlier he's like the other foot <laughs> I know he's learned how to do this yeah oh it makes it difficult, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, I mean, his mum were talking about, like, where's he got that from? It's yeah. all of a sudden how dogs all of a sudden do something. It's I like, where did they learn that from? Um, and I like to just sort of comb the hair down mm -hmm. as well. Hang on, Dale. Hang on. And we're using a 40 – we've got that on a 45-degree angle. On a 45-degree angle. angle. The reason I like a 45-degree mm -hmm. angle is because I can then pop – the blade sort of underneath the yeah. foot. Working on the hair underneath rather than the hair on top of the yeah, foot. Yeah, because, again, I'm just getting some shape into that foot. Mm -hmm. It's looking lovely. I do a lot of these feet on um, <laughs> on our YouTube channel. So if you watch um, our other videos, my feet are almost the same. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. Even the, And they're just the same process, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Good boy. Um, we've got a question there. Hi, all. what is the best, easiest, most ergonomic way to scissor the inside of the back legs? We will take you through that. That's actually one yeah. of the most. Oh, hey, Karen. Yeah, one of the, I get that question quite a lot. Do you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did go through it quickly when we were doing the full groom on Nala uh, a couple of weeks ago, but yeah. it will be good to concentrate on, on Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to stand on two separate legs now. <laughs> okay. Good boy. And again, it's just using, it's sculpting the hair rather than following the. And I like to just use the first third of the scissor. Mm -hmm. So then we get more of a detailed cut. Yeah. And then once I've scissored. And if we turn him, around, turn him around, I don't even then... know what he's doing. Yeah. He's not normally this fidgety. And he's gone to the toilet, so who knows. Um, so if you can see his pad. Come on, Bentley. Good boy. Just sit down. Sit down. Good boy. Um, you can see where I need to cut the hair off, but where I've scissored the foot to where the foot is on the ground. Um, so all those little bits of hair I need to trim off but I don't want to trim any more of this hair because if I do, it's going to pinch that foot in. Sit so down. Good boy. Good boy, sit down. I like to pick up the foot. Good boy. And comb it all down. Mm -hmm. all right. mm -hmm. Good boy, Dal. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's what happens. <laughs> <laughs> in the salon all yeah. the time. Okay, so and then pick up the foot. And once I've done the base... Of that foot, I can then. Good boy. Then you can stand. Yeah. I just let off the table. There we go. All right. Good boy. Then I use the straight part of my scissor 
Okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. Good boy. Here's a straight part of my scissor and then just come straight across the back of his pad. So anything that hangs over, over isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I'll just take off. So we've already got the shape from where we've scissored with a foot on the on the mat. But this is just to take off anything that's hanging over that that little pad. Hmm. See how cute another, his pads are? He's so cute. I'm great to see a not so perfectly behaved poodle. My toy always puts her head down, making it hard to oh, do her front leg. Yeah, that's where the the a groomer's arm would help a little bit sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> but it is difficult. And he's just a salon dog. Like you'd get these quite a bit in yeah. your salon. And, you just have to and pet owners as yeah. well. Yeah, yeah. Um, see, he's settled now. Yeah. <laughs> But like all of a sudden you'll just be like, no, it's not happening. <laughs> Good boy. And then just tidying everything up. This is how I do my Bichon feet as well. It is, yeah. But I might leave a bit more on or yeah, um, depending on the dog. Yeah. Because you can shorten the dog up by leaving more coat on the back of the leg, right? Yeah. Yeah. Just going to tidy up those feet there. Good boy. They always try to face, they always want to face one way. It's true, they do always want to face one way. All the Although groomers you... are like comedy. Yeah. <laughs> out the window, they want to look out the window. Yeah, there's no windows, it's yeah. just lights. So it's like, okay. got some good beautiful boy, comments. Buddy. Good boy. Okay, so. Once I've done his foot, that's when I then shape that squareness. And you might be able to see sort of how square mm -hmm. it is. So we need to blend off these edges. Yep. Round them around. Where are you going? What are you doing? <laughs> Stop. Stop. Good boy. Okay. So I'm just going to hold that leg up. And while we got this view I'll quickly do the inside <laughs> and then I can slowly take it around the back as well because I know how much hair I I need to yeah. take off because I've already marked it yeah so you're just rounding those edges yeah off so that you're getting rid of the square yeah. a lot of time people do like it's easier for people to learn square and then round do you think yeah like it's easier to create the square look and then Round it off. Yeah. That's yeah. Always a good point to. Good boy, good boy, you're being good. Remember. <gasps> Look how good you are. <laughs> He's being so good. Good man. I'm sure I'm he just gets do... bored. Yeah. <laughs> He's just like, oh, okay, next thing. <laughs> yeah. He does. He gets bored. Good boy. I think he leaves a very active and social lifestyle. Yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. You can see already see how much rounder um, that's looking. And we're not taking off much. We're just coning, pulling everything out and up, and then just scissoring. Hang on, Dal. Good boy. Okay. And then we'll do... Our front. So nice. Keep coning it up and remember we want that nice parallel line coming off our shoulder. Good boy. It is a lot easier doing this from the front of the dog, isn't it, Mel? Yeah. <laughs> you can see those those sharper edges yeah. to take off. Good boy. No, he's coming down now. You can, yeah, you can feel really it. Heavy in my hand. <laughs> Good man. So it's just blending and shaping that leg and sculpting that leg. So it's good to really visualize as well what mm. you want that leg to look like. Mm -hmm. So it's a good idea to, I always ask the client first how much length they want left on or um, Google some images as well and get an idea of leg shape 
on that particular on that grief. particular yeah yeah it's definitely a good idea because it's good to visualize that shape because if you visualize it then you can create it yeah but if you can't visualize it how are you going to create it exactly <laughs> And I find, yeah, looking at different photos of different breeds definitely helps. Yeah. Especially a, a lot of, you know, a lot of us are visual people. Yeah, a lot of groomers are. That's true. So I'm just doing the inside of the leg and I don't want to move him because he's been such a good boy. So good. And we're, we're still using the, the trunkers. trunkers. And okay. it's kind of a different movement than when we're scissoring. So if we're scissoring, mm -hmm. it's, I really try not to move at all. Yeah. But when I use the um, chunkers, yeah, kind you're of moving bouncing a, around a, a bit. little bit yeah. more. Yeah. And then when you're using your straights and you curves. Yeah, not as much. Not as much. Oh, not at all. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good boy. So let's go around to the back of his front leg. He's trying to follow me. Around the pole. That's it. There we go. Good boy. Mm -hmm. No. Sorry. Pop your leg down. Good boy. <laughs> and then this is where we can scissor sort of up and down. Good boy. Yeah, good boy. Yeah. Not too, we've got a question there, Sandy. Not too sure if you've touched on this, but which, I guess, chunker? Um, it's a PNW uh, 16.27.5 Spartans. Yeah, it was chunkers. <laughs> yeah, Spartans. Yeah. yeah. Um, I find they're probably one of the strongest that's on the market at the moment. Um they do have them in the blacksmith as mm -hmm. well, which is the which I can grab yeah. them and show you guys in a minute. Good boy, say that much. Good boy. You looking for now? Good boy. And do you come up into the? Oh, you're down on the foot now, but yeah, um, <laughs> <laughs> you're coming down up into that elbow part. Do you usually clip on it? Um, some people do ask. Do you clip out the under in between? Um, I did clip out his pits because mm -hmm. um, they were pretty matted. Yeah, but yeah. I clipped them out. Um, they actually they weren't that matted, mm -hmm. but matted for dogs that I groom. Yeah. Um, they um, I was able to just run the four over them. Oh yeah. The four yeah. F. Actually, the blade. Sorry, guys. The blade that we used on uh, the body was a four mm -hmm. F, not a four. Yeah. Um, just in case people were wondering. Yeah. Um. Yeah. So you don't always have to clip out the arms, but sometimes it's easier. Yeah, you could scissor them out as yeah. well. I did clip his pads out as well, and we do have a really good um pad clipping. The mini trimmer. The mini trimmer. Yeah. 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 We had a really good video. I think I did it with Dash. Yeah, there is one with Dash. Yeah. On our YouTube channel. Yeah. Okay, so once I've got that basic sort of shape in and I've got dog hair. Here. <laughs> <laughs> once that you got the shape, shape in. Shape in and the length that I want. Mm -hmm. What I like to do is remove all the hair off the table and then comb everything up. Good boy. Good man. So everything gets combed up. And, and you're doing this to pull out all the all pull the out little all bits. the little bits. Mm -hmm. And then I use um, the P and W twenty eight tooth uh, Spartans. So they're a finer blender. This mm. is what you would yeah, call that a would blender. Yeah, that's what I would call a blender because it's not as fine as your thinner. So they are a lot different. And then I'll actually I'll just compare them for you guys. So that's what we use to block in the shape and the length, and this is what we'll use to finish that off. Mm -hmm. So pull everything up, brush it up, comb it up. Good boy. Good boy. What are you looking at? Yeah. 
<laughs> and this is where I'll really concentrate on the finish of it. And you're only taking little bits, aren't Minimal you? Minimal amount. Yep. Yep. Oh. It's just those finer parts that are sticking out. Yeah, so if you're learning how to shape legs or how to scissor legs, I feel like using blenders and chunkers mm -hmm. is, is so perfect for nailing the length yeah. and the shape. And getting your finish, like helping with your finish. Yeah. Good boy. This is very good. It's looking lovely. He's got a beautiful coat. Like, I actually really love grooming him. Yeah, it's lovely to scissor, isn't it? Yeah. You can scissor it all day. <laughs> I could. I get yeah. lost in the, you know, yeah. and then the next minute it's an hour later and you're like, oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> true. Good boy, Bentley. And then the inside. Still keeping that, that visual in mind and you know not that going nice too deep straight inside of that front leg good boy he must be bored because he just chewed on my nail oh, he? <laughs> yeah he's never done that <laughs> never <laughs> and then the further around as well but i can't sort of move him yeah so at the moment she's just got you and you only using the very end of your scissor aren't you now yeah yeah Good boy. Just tidy up that leg, back foot a bit. Mm -hmm. And we're going to. Good man. It's looking pretty nice. And I always like to come straight down that foot. I don't like. Like, I like teddy feet, yeah. but I also like nice. Um, like tight, tight teddy feet. Yeah, yeah. Because I feel like if I left hair here, mm -hmm. that's the first place it would grow out, and yeah. I want the groom to last. Yeah. I don't want a groom to grow out in two weeks and someone go, oh, you know, take mm -hmm. it shorter yeah. next time yeah. when you can really do things to make the groom last without taking the coat shorter. That's right, exactly. Because the foot sticks out from the leg, so that's going to be the first coat that starts to stick out, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. So you can see the difference it makes on that little foot. It's starting to look nice and round now. Those corners are... Yeah, so there's no sharp edges. I suppose if you wanted sharp edges, you could just... Do your sharp edges? Yeah, <laughs> I suppose. Good boy. If they do move their legs a little bit, sometimes you can just hold um, around their elbow, shoulder. Yeah, yeah. Just to help them feel a bit more secure. Good boy. If anyone has any questions and, and also start thinking the questions for next week, so when we're doing the, the, drop, the coat. drop coat. Now, there's been a few people wanting to... I haven't done much on drop coats because I don't have a lot of... Um, drop coat clients, hey? No. And Bella's um, a beautiful little girl. I've done a few shorts with her on YouTube and mm -hmm. um, Instagram. Mm -hmm. So that's probably about as much as I would do with that leg and I'll just check to see if the clipper works up to scratch. We've got a question is. there from Amanda. She's asking how long would you spend on each leg? Probably about 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, yeah. It doesn't take long once you once you've Yeah, and he normally is a lot better. I'm yeah, saying, he's, so... a, he's a little bit distracted by the lights and the yeah. big TV and the cameras. <laughs> so I'll then pull out our I would say these are thinners. Mm -hmm. So they're um, again, this is what we just used, and then the teeth are more closer together um, on these ones. So then, if you wanted to really tidy up your work, you um, give it a spritz. Give with it the... a spritz, comb it out, 
and again be really super honest with your with your work comb everything out the more you comb it out yeah. the neater it's gonna yeah be and when you spritz a coat i use a relaxed coat conditioning spray um it helps give that nice plush mm -hmm. finish finish and Leela's just asked, how do we make sure that all the legs are even? By combing. So mm -hmm. using the comb to keep pulling it out and out and out. But once I've spritzed that coat, um, that kind of sets the coat in. Um, so if I then put the comb through, it's going to make the coat wet inside the leg. Yeah. And then it's going to curl the coat and then that will make the leg look uneven. Yeah, so once so, you spritz, it's really when you're just finishing, really finishing off that leg. You don't want to then pull your comb back into the coat and pull everything out. Yeah. Again, it's just going to wet it. Amanda's just asked how long. Oh, no, we answered that question. <laughs> that one disappeared. <laughs> Leonie. And your blenders and your thinners, they do get a build-up of hair as well. So make sure you always take out um, that excess. the excess hair in those little teeth. Mm. Um, we've got a question from Leonie. Hi, ladies. I have a standard poodle, but he goes to sleep while I'm grooming him and rarely gets his legs finished. Is there oh, anything I can do? It's I'm the opposite close. to Bentley. I know. <laughs> Rocky did that. I used to groom. Remember when yeah. I'd do him in the grooming competition and he'd fall asleep in the um yeah. in the groomer's loop and he'd just sway, wouldn't he? Yeah, Dash falls asleep. Uh, yeah. And then, like, he kind of gets a fright yeah. and then he thinks <laughs> They I'm, wake themselves yeah, back and up. Yeah, he looks at me and gives me a dirty look. <laughs> That's a hard one. Just give him a little tap and we... Yeah, I kind of just, like, wake him up gently. Gently. <laughs> because I don't want to cause him... A fright. Yeah, and I don't want him to feel like um, like not secure on the table yeah. as well. Yeah. But that's beautiful. That I know how sweet. I love that. <laughs> Do the sprays not wet the coat and cause them to curl? That's from Amanda. No, so we're only doing a minimal amount, and it dries pretty fast as well. So yeah. it just gives it that nice plush. Yeah, and it's really just wetting the the very ends of the coat it's it's not um going deep down so yeah. and they're the, usually the very ends that you're trimming yeah off. <laughs> yeah <laughs> oscar i love the smell of the relaxed range oh, uh, me too. it is very relaxing isn't it? <laughs> it is a lovely scent because it's lavender geranium and bergamot okay so i'm pretty happy with that front leg is everyone happy with that well, it looks amazing. Bentley. <laughs> <laughs> so should we start on this back one? I think we one? should move on to the back one. Yeah, do you want to okay. do – which one do you want to do? Um, so it might be easier to do this that one? side. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because then um, – The leg's right near the camera. Yeah. And his jaws will be just like that. Oh, there you go. Good boy. He's like, oh, I'm off. How oh, exciting. <laughs> okay. So Good boy. I'm going to run the clippers again over that leg and then coming off like around his hip area and coming straight down and just skimming off our thigh area. And just shaping that leg. And I like to actually take it tight around his rear end. And this is just him. Yeah. Because I know that he is like a really active, adventurous dog. Right, yeah. So, um, and every dog's different. Yeah. As well. So then I can just gently scoop that in as well. I love doing back legs. I know, they're my favourite. I used to hate doing front legs and then I just made myself do them yeah. and do them yeah. in the salon and then I like them as well, but not as much as back legs. <laughs> so I'm just skimming off some coat. That's a, that's a long question, hold on. Let me see if I can read it all. Any tips for training dogs to groom? I have a Groodle who, when I hold their paw to trim other 
their other leg will then put all their weight on the hind leg, uh, so uh, on this, the held leg. Is this your dog or? I think it's your her dog. Your own dog or a your uh, groomer? A groomer, yeah. So two different scenarios. Yeah. On the held leg and lift the other leg. I have a groomer, yeah. Essentially, I'm holding their body weight. Mm. Okay, so while Janelle answers that, because it's probably <laughs> the same as what I'm going to say, <laughs> that I am going to go back to using the 16 tooth chunker because I want to get a nice parallel leg from behind. So we don't want our um, dog to wear chaps. Mm-hmm. We want nice and straight. So when the dog's moving away from away, you, that they're not... Um, Knee, their knees aren't poking out. out yeah. You'll see. Everyone <laughs> you will, will see. see. Good boy, buddy. I can get that question back up if I can. Just so, yeah, beautiful. Just so she, while Mel's working on the top of the so leg there. So, again, I won't trim the foot in yet until um, I decide on the length that mm, you want on the leg. The front as well. Mm-hmm. So, we don't want the back leg to be too full. And then grow out too fast. He's yeah, going to sleep he's now. going to sleep. There we go. Everyone oh. can know <laughs> he will sleep. He just wanted to be yeah, held. He's just a pain, I yeah. know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So training dogs um, to groom heavier dogs will use their weight to try and um, get what they like. I guess don't they? They do know their own weight, but you can adjust the dogs. Some dogs I find, are just lazy as well yeah, and need the help. Yeah, exactly. Mm. There are tools that you can – if you are a groomer, I'm not too sure, Rebecca, I'm so sorry, um, or if it's your own dog, there are um, grooming mm. harness, harnesses that you can help you, it's like a belly eight. band um, that can go around the waist to help um, hold the dog's weight. I find when I hold one foot up – If I, you're trimming the feet, yeah. I would let the dog lay down and yeah. then just – trim the feet That's and then when you need to trim the feet then the then dog can stand, get up. stand up yeah I find sometimes mm. it's just easier to work with the dog as much as possible right so if they if you're working on something that they can lie down for then just let them lie down I do you agree yeah I um and for now when I'm doing yeah <laughs> yeah um and if you need to do a leg I find it uh She's saying if she holds all the weight in the hand in her hand if she's holding one leg. Yeah, I would um, I would let the dog sit. Yeah, it's and so much easier. Yeah, I'm all for dogs sitting yeah. and doing feet. And I don't legs. think they need to stand the whole groom. No. You know. And it's funny, like with Bentley, he likes to sit when I'm doing his legs, but mm-hmm. then he likes to stand when I do his head. Yeah. So sometimes you just can't win. So yeah. don't feel like you have it's to... just you because it happens to everyone. Yeah. He's so we can see. Yeah. <laughs> good boy, buddy. So we can see how I'm just sort of blending that leg in. And we're just using like just the leg at the moment, which is on the side of let the leg, isn't it? You're working yeah, on the outer outer side of the back leg. Yeah. And comb it up again. And just scissor off anything that's hanging out of the side. Good boy. So we're working on the side of the leg and then she'll move around to the... Inside of the back Mm -hmm. leg. So, again, I comb... This is what people are asking for, isn't it? Yeah. So... And we can see, sorry, so see how there's lots of hair on this side, but then this side, it's pretty nice and parallel Parallel. and straight, whereas this kind of bows out a bit. So we want more of that straight Mm -hmm. leg. You want the knee to, because when your owners or when you're walking, (laughs) he's falling down, when um, you're walking your dog, you're looking at their back legs, aren't you? So you want to see them when they're walking out in front of you that, you know, that nice yeah. parallel line. And the inside of the back legs, we I'm comb everything. To... Yeah, it's really difficult. So I'm just trying to comb. I pull everything out. 
and then I would do this from the rear. So this is where I would face, mm -hmm. but I want you guys to see it. So hold his tail out of the way and then just come straight down. Yeah, and you want to try, I always try and keep the same amount of coat on the outside of the dog's leg as well as the inside of the dog's leg. Yeah, or if you're going to take more off, the inside In. of the back leg is where you would take it off. Yeah. Not the outside. Not the outside. That's right. Yeah. You want that same line, that parallel line. And maybe we should do a live about dogs moving and how mm. to trim them because we trim dogs to how they're how moving. they move yeah yeah not how they're being stacked good boy okay i just need to yeah. see what i'm doing <laughs> they can see that's really good okay. yeah yeah and we're still just working on the leg not the foot at this stage yeah they can still see that And I find I scissor most of my dog's legs. I hardly clip any. Yeah. I think it's okay to do so, but like. Yeah. That was nice. And then. His little just, crown jewels. Yeah. <laughs> to go, Good, Good boy. boy. There you go. So then we can see what I need to take off at the back of. I might move him again. More. Yep. That way. Yeah. Perfect. So when we're coming, because I clipped through here, but I need to now blend it into the clipped area. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to come down that back leg towards a hock. And this will give our nice turn, turn of stifle. Yeah, so you need to create a turn behind the dog's leg as well as... So give it some knee. Our knee <laughs> yeah. is here. So this is where our turn is. And then sometimes you can just bend the leg and that will be our little marker. Oh, hey, Constad. Back from Belgium as well. He's uh, <laughs> We're trying to say hello like through the day. Hi, yeah, hi. As you walk past. Yeah, as you walk <laughs> past having a good time. <laughs> So, um, again, the same as with the front leg, I always scissor the front of the back leg last. Last. Yep. And then as well as doing this part here of the leg, we need to also do the inside of that leg as well. So I'm just going to come in and do my best. <laughs> That's lovely. No, we love you. <laughs> Good boy. I know, I know. Go to sleep again. <laughs> oh, he's awake. He's yeah, had his power he's like, nap. He's had a, had a little nap. He's had his power nap. He's good gone. boy, good boy, good boy. Stand. Stand in. Good boy. And you're coming up from the hock there. Yeah. Into... I'm just trimming in how he's happy. Yeah. To <laughs> stand. Well, sometimes you just have to go with it. Yeah, exactly. Work with the dog. What will let you do. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And you'll see like I'm constantly trying to move around the dog as well because – when a dog is more well behaved, mm -hmm. it's easier to just let him be than yeah. the dog move around. Then having to shift the dog all the time. Yeah. It's better to move around the table or, or yeah. where you're grooming them. Yeah. Yeah, he's had his little nap. Yeah. That's, what, that's <laughs> what he does. <laughs> boy. Okay, and then our flank area. So we can. Yeah, turn around. Heading around to pops. Oh, no, he's not moving. He's not used to moving towards mm. the camera. So where we've clipped the body into our flank area, um, there's a little bit of a line. So I want to make it a little bit more blended and bring it into itself a bit more. You want to try and remove those transition lines between the, the, clipper. the clipped coat to the scissored coat, right? Yeah. Yeah. Good and boy. then I like to just neaten up this tuck up area. And then, sorry, I know you guys couldn't see then. <laughs> Good boy. It's okay. It's hard to do it, groom it, and then that's good, yeah. 
<laughs> you can probably can't see too much. Good, Good boy. And then just tidying up around our tuck up. So this is called our tuck up or our flank. Oh, he's looking at you, so... <laughs> what are you doing? He's adorable. So then it just tidies it up. So once I've done that, um, then I come around my front and I like to come sort of straight up into the tuck up. From the knee, do you from think? From the knee, yeah, 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 definitely from the knee. Sorry, yeah. I should have mentioned. No, that. that's okay. <laughs> and you can kind of, from this angle, tidy up inside that back leg again. So sometimes when you're grooming, you need to just watch the entire part you're scissoring. So if it's a leg, watch the leg, mm -hmm. watch the entire leg, not just that part, because sometimes you miss areas. It's definitely yeah, true. Yeah. Being very good. And when you're combing it, you're combing like you're not just combing one part out, aren't you? Are no, you you're pulling it? Yeah, the, the whole entire leg. So then I like to flip my scissors around and then come into that toe area. Good boy. And this then determines the length of my foot. Yeah, clearing the table is always important too because it kind of yeah gets a bit distracting. Good boy. Well, you're okay. Good man. So once I've done that, then I'm going to scissor his little foot in. So it's the same technique as what we did with the front. So I like to put it on a 45 degree angle and I like to come from the hock area. So mm -hmm, from, behind. from behind, yep. And create the shape from there, right? Yeah, and that nice 45, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That's good. And again, working a lot with the hair underneath. Yeah. The foot. We need to be careful when we do this that the tip isn't going to cut that pad mm -hmm. as well. So I've seen that a lot. Yeah. So not forcing that scissor through. So if you need to really force it, it really means that you've not made yeah. to cut it. <laughs> that means hair shouldn't be like hard, hard to, to push through. Good boy. That's how we bevel a lot of feet, isn't it? Like, yeah. you use the same technique for a lot of different dogs. Good and boy. Then I might just so show the to... inside of that. Yeah. And then normally I would come around this way, but I might be able to. Can you still see? Yeah, it? that's good. Good boy. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. So again, on a forty-five degree angle, and the tips of my scissors are coming towards the the toes. Yeah. And it kind of blends in with um the area that we've yeah that you've scissored. already scissored, isn't it? Yeah, and then we'll go to the front of his little toes. <laughs> so bad. Good boy, buddy. What are you doing? <laughs> He's thinking it's that time. Oh, it's just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he is, well. Yeah. And just... And then around the front of the back. And you use the same technique just for yeah. the Yeah. As you do with the front foot, isn't it? Yeah. There you go, buddy. Good boy. I can't read that question. I that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> just, just, Amanda's just asked a question. She's asking what products would you say are essential when first starting up from your range, Melanie? Uh, I would say the Relax. Yeah. Would you? Yeah, Relax is probably – Relax and Purify, I think, because if, you if you're getting some 
dirty dogs that are in your salon, yeah, Purify can come in handy. But relax, relax. You can, it's a good all rounder. It is. And it comes in a shampoo, conditioner, um, a coat conditioning spray, and a cologne also. Yeah. So once I've got that shape in, that's when I pick up the foot and comb everything down. And you'll find that you'll have little bits sort of stuck in the coat. And remembering I can't take the coat any shorter than where we've scissored From by the, the foot mm. on the ground. I just want to pop his tail out of the way because it's so big. <laughs> there we go. Good boy. So pulling everything up. So coming straight at the back of the pad towards our hock area. So um, scissoring off anything that's hanging over. Oh boy, hang on, girl. Hang on. Good boy. And then anything that's hanging over those little pads. And I, I have clipped them out, anyone who's missed that. Like I clipped them out um, before the bath. Before the bath, yep. Um, with the mini trimmer. And we've got quite a few videos with yeah. using the mini trimmer on the foot pads. Good boy. So still not yeah, not working outside of that that shape that you've already created. Yeah. Just anything that's so it's just tidying anything that's hanging over that little those little pads. Cute pads on those. So cute. Like look how cute it Looks like a is. teddy bear. It does yeah. actually look like a teddy bear. Because <laughs> he is. That's yeah. I'm sure that's what he is. <laughs> Good boy. Okie dokie. So then we can go back to our uh 16 to uh, blender and then cut a little bit of this hock off because it's mm, there's a lot it'll end up, <laughs> it'll dragging, end up muddy. In a, dragging in a tree and... <laughs> do you have a fluff dry video yes mm -hmm. yeah I've got a few I did a live on our poodle with the stand dryer I've got a video on using all different types of dryers as well yeah which is really good. Yeah, I was, I've seen that one the other day, actually. Yeah. If you go to our YouTube channel, you'll find them all on there. Yeah. We will continue to do the live tutorials. We're going to eventually do some bathing ones. Yes. Yeah. Once our bathing area is yeah. all set up. Drying might be a bit harder because it's... Um, the hearing. The hearing, yeah. You yeah. can't hear too much doing drying. It's or more it's like, of a visual. It is. Isn't it? Yeah. Good boy. So his back leg's really taking shape now. So it doesn't take much to sort of shape it. No, not at all. And it kind of just all of a sudden starts to. There we go. Now he's. <laughs> um, all of a sudden take shape. And then all we've got to do is scissor off anything that's hanging out of that shape. And again, I'm just using my um, chunkers because I'm sort of bulk. Reducing? Yeah. Good boy. Good boy, girl. And then the wider, there's a 16 T, so yeah. they're going to take out the most, the most coat. Yeah. So the more teeth, the less coat, less yeah. hair. Yeah. We learned that last week as well. Yeah. That was yeah. a good way. Good boy. Good boy. Good man. He likes to watch. He does. He's so nosy. Yeah. I find poodles are nosy. They just like to know what's going on. What are you doing now? Yeah, definitely. Where are we going now? And it trays like that, isn't it? Yeah. Like you move around the table and they move with you yeah. because they're like, oh, but aren't we going somewhere? What it's are we doing? so true. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, are you happy with that shape? Yeah, it looks lovely. And it looks again, so soft and fluffy. Yeah, I like um, not a really tight foot, but tight enough that it's not going to grow out yeah. too fast for him. Good boy. I reckon he would be like a hit in the neighbourhood. He would. Yeah. Like people would know him. <laughs> oh, he's on Bentley. <laughs> Is it true? Yeah. Yeah. It's a great name, Bentley. I love the name Bentley. Good boy. 
Yeah, so we don't want to keep that foot still round but nice and tight so that the, you know, the hair on the foot isn't growing out over the leg yeah. when, you're, when it grows back out. So it's a nice sort of teddy leg. And his body is quite short mm-hmm. compared to his legs. Mm-hmm. But he is a real doggy dog, so he gets away with that as yeah. well. He has got a lot of body on him. Yeah. Whereas um, if you've got a dog that's a little bit leaner, you wouldn't get away with that type of um, with the, length. With the difference between the length on length. the body, yeah, with the legs. Come so on. it does – trimming isn't um, – grooming isn't like a cookie cutter. Every dog we'll is completely um, different. He was going to be called Basil. Oh, Basil. <laughs> That's a bit different than Bentley. Good yeah, boy. I feel like he would suit both anyways. We've got any more final questions there. Now's the time to Yeah, because I'll ask. change to our 28 tooth. So where the teeth are closer together, so it's going to give a... Uh, finer. Mm-hmm. And comb everything up, pull everything out. Good boy. Good boy. And I always start at one area and then finish at another. So mm-hmm. it's not a random scissor. Yeah, you kind of always start at the at the top, do you? Yep, yeah, and then work my way down. Yeah. Sandy's asked us a question. How do you make sure it's not too bulky compared to the front? So I like to do it by eye, Mm. um, but you can do it by length. Like I just know how much length he's got on his front with his back. So Yeah, you're keeping the same thickness visually. Yeah, the same length of hair and the same thickness here. Width, yeah. Width, width. Yeah, that's a good idea. That's a good yeah. way of determining. The width of the back leg is the same width as the front leg. Yeah. Is there anything I can do to promote growth to thicken holts on uh, my Bichon? Yeah. Uh, that's a hard one. It is because I don't know the lifestyle of your dog, yeah. but I like to just make sure the coat is always hydrated mm-hmm. and really, really well um condition clean so if the coat is clean it's yeah. going to be um healthy healthy and it's going to start to grow mm-hmm. i know what you mean because a hog hair is hard it breaks so fast yeah especially if you've got a girl that's weighing on yes yeah. yeah and i mean it's lowest to the ground right so it's, yeah. <laughs> it's going to get stuck in anything and everything so the cleaner the coat and and the, the less healthier. amount of um Debris or dirt, dirt. mud. Mm. Yeah, that's going to help mm. um, help with coat growth. Mm. Yeah, yeah, and hydrating that coat, obviously. As well. Yeah, good boy. Yeah, because um, Dash struggles with his hops as well. I don't know why. Yeah, I know because he's busy. Yeah, and he <laughs> does like to sit on concrete, so mm. that, I think that's a problem for him. Yeah, like he's sitting and it's always and it's always flat. Running. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I always try like on our yeah, concrete. Yeah, there's yeah. like that's a good one. rugs and sheets everywhere, so it doesn't sit. Yeah, if on I'm, the rough ground. Yeah, if yep. I'm showing him, that would make sense, I think. Yeah. So softer bedding or, or yeah something might help as well. I do yeah, find the cleaner the coat, the healthier. Yeah. Yes. Good boy. Hang on. Hang on. You're nearly, nearly done. You're nearly there. Oh, you are going to have a party when you're done, buddy. <laughs> oh, good kisses. Okay. <laughs> All right. So he's... You I can really see the difference in between the two back legs um, yeah. now too. Yeah, definitely. So we'll show you the difference. <laughs> Not too many kisses. Good boy. Um, so we can see how this side is coming straight down. I could probably take a little bit more off the inside of that hock area. Um, but it's looking very parallel from the outside compared to this leg. 
my goodness, it's all yeah. backwards. Um, yeah, so just... And when he moves away, you can tell that that's going to sit nice and straight, nice and parallel. Yeah, good boy. Do you prefer to use groomer's arm or T-bar on the table? Oh, uh, depending on the dog. Yeah. Um, he's fine with a grooming arm. Mm-hmm. Um, and depending on the size as well. Yeah, hay trains. For me, only uh, I don't use hay trains that much or tea bars, only because I find they get in the way a little bit. But <laughs> but um, they yeah, depending on the dog. I agree. Yeah, because I feel like with the hay bar, it would be like a bigger table. Mhm. Yeah. So you can see, like, just taking off that has really helped as well with getting a nice parallel leg. So I'm pretty happy with that. Mm, happy looks with that. good. Cool. Sorry, H bar, yeah. <laughs> you can call it a T bar, that's okay. <laughs> it's really nice. Oh, he's owner saying it's really nice. So that's know, the main thing. turned around that's and the main thing. It's like <laughs> So we'll quickly show you those legs again. So this is his, his rear leg. There we go. Um, which I'm pretty happy with. Mm. Well, what's going on, Bentley? And <laughs> so <then> Bentley. <laughs> his front leg. front leg. Good boy. Compared to how hairy berry this is here. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me about it. I'll quickly whack that out before you go. Okay, so he's done. So we'll finish up our grooming session because mm -hmm. I'll do this off camera. Yeah. Um, so I think that was really good. I hopefully hopefully everyone learnt something. I sure did, and yeah, I hope. Um, yeah, every week you guys are learning more and more, and next week is going to be a good one because it's on a drop coat. So mm -hmm. it's going to be um, a different technique. Look how good he is. I now. know, he's right? Beautiful. He's like, okay, we're finishing. Yeah, it's so beautiful. <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be a different technique and we'll probably use more of the um, blenders. finer tooth blenders yeah. and the thinners as well. So mm -hmm. it's going to be a really good one to watch and there's going to be lots of blending from the body into yeah. the legs. Um, and if we've got time, good we'll boy. try and um, do the head as head well. Head as well, yeah. Hopefully. Yeah, so Fingers join crossed. us next week at 7 p.m australian eastern standard time because mm -hmm. we're in melbourne mm -hmm. and we do have daylight, daylight savings, savings now which is amazing we love it but we love it but <laughs> the rest of the country hates it but we love it um do you have a sample bundle, bundle for, for groomers? groomers yep so if you um jump on our website yep. there's some um, um, samples sample duos 50 mil duos that you can um have a look at just go have a look at our collections and you can see what we've got yes. yeah perfect and Bentley I know yeah good boy <laughs> Bentley. <laughs> I know he's such a beautiful boy he's really done well <laughs> yeah it's done amazingly on, buddy just sit down <laughs> and if you would like to see That's more it. of our YouTube videos mm -hmm. definitely jump on YouTube because there is ones on drying trimming feet trimming out pads yeah there's a lot bathing. to learn on there as well yeah definitely so we'll see you guys next week and um, until then, yeah, use everything that you've learned this week and let us know how you go. And I will give Dash a big um, kiss. kiss. <laughs> thanks, Annie. <laughs> All, All right, right, guys. Thanks, Thank guys. You. See you next week. Bye. Bye.